Parents of Reddit, what are your kids currently attempting to hide from you? A few years ago, I was going through my son's third grade backpack and found a can of ravioli. That's all well. Except I never bought any ravioli. When I asked him about it, he burst into tears and, and pulled out a box under his bed filled with ravioli. He then proceeded to tell me how this girl that picks on him and says they are married gives him ravioli every day and makes him take it. I can just picture this girl's mother telling her the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. My 3 yo son lost his ball. When asked. He said he didn't know where it was. We assumed it had been left outside to blow away in a storm or some kid took it. So we bought him a new ball. As soon as we gave it to him. He said thanks. I'll get my other ball. He then ran straight to a bush in the neighbor's yard and pulled out his ball. Came for teens hiding drugs. Stayed for the toddlers hiding snacks. Who thought 6 whilst could be so relatable? My 2 year old dropped out Echo Dot and split into 2 pieces. She attempted to sandwich it back together and put it back where it was but now says stuff like Alexa play Mickey Mouse and then when nothing happened she says oh Alexa what happened? You know damn well what happened and it's happened. She's slowly been collecting pens and hiding them in her toys. So far. No coloring outside of paper and coloring books. Though. So I'm letting her get away with it. My daughter throws her lettuce under the table for the dog to eat. The dog doesn't like lettuce. I just found out that my 6 year old locks the bathroom door so he can get some privacy. Last night I looked across the kitchen to see the door slightly ajar and my son engaging in his private time. Doing push ups. I didn't say anything. Just watched him finish his 5 reps. Flex in the mirror and then walk out of the bathroom. Edit. Okay. The indoor rock climbing is seriously calling out to me. Thanks for the suggestions everyone. Son. 7. Ate half my bag of gummy bears. I know. He knows I know. I know he knows I know. I don't think he knows I know he knows I know. So now we wait until he cracks. Update. Son confessed to crime at 7. 43 PM tonight. When I was a teen I came home stoned at least once a week and felt like the big actor ever after talking to my mom for like 20 minutes while assuming she didn't notice. When I was 20 she asked me if I stopped smoking weed because she really enjoyed our stoned conversations. My daughter is trying to impress me by learning origami. She's 7 and doesn't think that dad can see all the missing paper in the, messily but improving a lot, paper cranes hidden throughout her room. I bought two more reams of paper and just left them out on accident. Lazy old dad's not putting up his office supplies. My neighbors across the street have an 18 year old daughter. Most nights at around 9. 30 she has a young man crawl in through her window. I realize this because I'm usually wrapping up our evening dog walk at about that time. I'm not sure but. I've counted at least 5 different young men based on build and race. She is doing a study for school and needs lots of test subjects. Got a 12 year old and I definitely know his reddit account cause the little turd used my email to sign up. Must not have thought that one through. I'm too scared to look at it though. That's a rabbit hole you never want to go down. Just this morning. A friend of mine told me he saw my 17 year old son picking cigarette butts out of the ashtray at a gas station. So in one moment. I learned not only that my son is smoking cigarettes. But that he's a goddamn scrub as well. Not sure how to handle it. TBH. Offer to buy him nicotine gum patches and offer help to slowly wean off those. If he acts defensive. Say I'm not mad and you aren't in trouble. But if you don't pick one of these options and continue digging used butts out of the tray at the gas station. Then you will be in trouble. My 22 year old son starts work at 6. 00 a. M. He left the house at 6. 30 and came back 30 minutes later. I think he got fired. Update. He went to work today. I asked him if he went to work yesterday and he said everything was locked up and they had changed the unloading schedule that day and didn't tell him. 
Second update, the 15th of September. 2019. He slept and after staying up late with friends and finally got fired. He told us immediately. He owes us money. My 4 year old wrote a letter she keeps in her bottom drawer. When me and my husband die she will come home and get it. We're not allowed look at it or touch it but apparently it says that we gave her loads of money and she gave us loads of pictures. I'm not sure what this says about her or us. But it will be interesting how long she keeps said letter. It's been a month so far. My kid would get up in the middle of the night and want a snack. He would sneak into the kitchen and eat a whole tomato except the little circle where it connected to the stem. He hid the little stem circles under whatever was on top of the trash and would go to sleep. We always made sure there were tomatoes for him. My 9 year old stepdaughter was in her room one day for like hours with markers and papers. I thought she was drawing or making a picture book or something so I let it slide. It turns out she had our calendar and was making cards for everyone for every holiday and birthday coming up. I haven't asked her about it but I'm honestly super proud of her logic and long term planning abilities. Everybody's kids here are hiding books to read secretly. Not a parent. My grandma was convinced this was the case. So when I got one. I naturally didn't tell her. She jokingly told me I could invite my girlfriend to some family outing so I did. She was extremely confused and when she asked why didn't I tell her. I just told her that she knew all along. Himself. It's nearly bedtime. Two year old thinks I'll forget to put him to bed if he runs into another room for 30 seconds. My 3 year old thinks I don't know that she raids the snack cupboard when I'm out of the room. Her face is usually full of chocolate after. She also thinks I can't see her when she covers her eyes. So sneaks around me thinking she's in stealth mode to get to something she shouldn't. He's 18. He will wait until we go to bed and then hop the back fence to go to 7-Eleven for a slurpee. After a couple of weeks of this we confronted him and told him. 1. You're 18 so there is no curfew. 2. Hopping fences looks like criminal activity and our neighborhood watch is on point. 3. You have a driver's license so take the car. 4. Don't act like you're fooling us. You're an adult now. Want a slurpee? Go get it. You have money. Something is telling me that he's not buying slurpees every night. My almost 2 year has started telling me crazy stories as if they are real. He recently told me that our dog rides a motorcycle to go play with her friends. My 6 year old is gobsmacked that I know about the rolling around on the floor instead of schoolwork. No idea the teacher can reach me in a time. Edit. Girlfriend's kids, 20 and 17, like to go work on the car together in the detached garage. Late at night. Yeah. Pretty sure they're smoking weed. She likes to make them awkward by asking what they're up to. We see the 3 foot bong you guys. That they are not tired. Despite the usual crying and making you feel terrible until they shut their eyes and 30 seconds later asleep. Parenting's a king whirlwind of emotions. He has a crush on the babysitter and tries to draw hearts to give to her. He also proposed. When my son was 5 he stashed a bunch of blueberries under his pillow for later. Problem is. Not only did they get squished night 1. But he forgot about them until we changed his sheets a few days later. Ugh. Death. We had a foster kid that hid about 2 handfuls of spaghetti with sauce under his pillow. Found it the next day while he was at school. Got it cleaned up. Never told him we found it. Made sure to have spaghetti twice a week thereafter. Fortunately my teenager, 16, going on 17, doesn't try to hide much from me. She's a terrible liar and gets busted right away every time. So she just casually admits stuff these days. It's pretty great. However, she's been sneaking her boyfriend over to the house during the day while I'm at work and thinks I'm clueless. Girl, I know you eat a lot. But there's no way you're going through half a loaf of bread by yourself in one day. You also left his glass of water on the coffee table. IDK man. 
My six-year-old son poops in the backyard every morning and blames it on the dog. My daughter is too shy to tell me she started her period. I'm not going to embarrass her. We've had the talk. And she can come to me if and when she's comfortable. I hid my period from my mom because I was deathly embarrassed for some reason. She found my blood-stained PJs though and asked me one day. I cried. She hugged me and told me it was natural and okay. Now I think back to her kindness and comfort very fondly. Don't let her keep it from you too long. As going it alone can suck. Not a parent. But my story. Senior in high school. BF and I got home from school with about an hour alone. Got busy on the couch and mom came home early lol. We rushed around grabbing the wrong clothes. He hid in the bathroom. I busted ass upstairs and got dressed. She came in. Acted normal. Thought I was good. Right before she went out back to have a smoke. She said by the way. Boyfriend left his underwear on the floor by the couch and went outside. Was mortified lol. She was pretty cool about it though. Where her dad's watches. I know where she hides it. And I've seen her wear it pretending to be him. It's so cute. I won't tell my husband though. Edit. Sorry for framing it weird. My husband is her father. He has a collection of watches. So I know he won't make a big deal out of it. Six years old has started going to bed during the day for naps and chill out time. Also for the privacy to remove his pants and have a fiddle with it. Mine fiddles with his a lot. Also six. I tell him that it is fine if he wants to touch himself but he needs to do it in private because no one wants to see that. I also tell him that he is allowed to touch himself whenever he wants but no one else is allowed to touch him. It's only going to get worse so I figured I would at least have him do it in his room lol. Mine doesn't try to hide anything. He's a year and a half old. He just grabs things he isn't supposed to and runs away yelling. Run 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 run. Edit. Thank you for the silver. Whoever gifted it. And especially thank you to everyone sharing their own toddler stories. I'll be smiling all day thanks to these replies. My 13 year old stepson looking up Roblox PRN on Pornhub on his phone. His mother and I don't know how the hell to approach it so we're kinda just leaving it alone. Chalk it up to puberty I guess. SMH he should be on Minecraft PRN he is a fake gamer s. My kid Noah, 15, is trying to hide the fact that he's found a girlfriend. He thinks he's really smart by just saying he's going out to get food every now and then. But it's so easy to tell that he's going to see someone. Also his girlfriend snitched on him. She told us that she liked him. My teenage daughter is hiding the fact that her boyfriend and her got into a huge fight over something dumb to one of them. But important to the other. She did end up telling me it was important to him but dumb to her. Turns out after some snooping. That he asked her for nudes and told her that if she didn't send them to him they were through. He also implied that if she didn't send them she was a SLT. So she told his ass to take a hike. Really proud of her. But not so proud of how I found out. So. I just have to stay quiet. Almost every poop she does in her nappy. We are potty training. My 4 year old son just asked me how many coins I had on my desk. I said I didn't know. He said he counted 6. Our son, 3, thinks he's hiding his body when we play hide and seek. Really he just makes eye contact with us till he goes into his spot. Softly counting 1, 2, 3 until 10. He proceeds to cover his eyes and says try to find me mommy daddy and it's the cutest and funniest thing to us. The Pez dispensers in his nightstand. He eats them in secret pretty sparingly so I'll let it go. He's 6. Edit. He never eats them at bedtime and has a pretty strict teeth brushing schedule so I'm not overly concerned about cavities. A 6 year old with self control and willpower is pretty impressive. Our son, 9, is taking his marbles to school and screwing other kids out of their marbles. He's got a real hassle going on there. He's not allowed to take any toys to school. Hence why he's hiding it. 
I checked his school backpack and found probably a kilogram worth of marbles in there. We are having a talk this afternoon. Will the talk involve increase your profit margins? Choose your clientele. Become exclusive. Do less work but for higher returns. Because it definitely should. Dot. No kid should have to lug a kilo of marbles about. My 12. M. Son went on a double date. My husband happened to be driving through town and saw the four of them together. I asked him and he said they happened to be going to the same place. The mother of the other boy had the scoop and filled me in. I let my son know that he shouldn't lie to me and it is perfectly fine for him to be going on a double date, he apparently paid for the fries. I offered to drive him and the others somewhere if they wanted to go again. If he's 12. He probably didn't tell you because he knew you would offer to drive. My mom was the coolest. But I still didn't want her to embarrass me around girls. I left jerk off socks under my bed when I moved out. Next time I visited I went to remove them and yup. They were already gone. Stains were still there. Though. Never been mentioned. To all the teenagers on here. Your parents know more than you think and are also more ignorant than you think. The trick is. You won't know in which areas until they tell you. I dropped some classes a few years ago and would still pretend to go. Just sort of hanging around town to keep my parents thinking I was enrolled. On one skip day. I was window shopping in my hometown when I see my dad walking towards me from down the street. I thought the jig was up so I kept walking towards him. And he passes me by before I can even say anything. Dedis just doesn't notice me even though I'm within arm's length. I thought he wanted to pretend it didn't happen or something. But when I told him I saw him on the street later that night he asked why I didn't say hello. My effing dishes plates. They sneak food up to their rooms so they can game and digest at the same time but forget to bring the dishes downstairs. When I get in a hiss of it because I have to make my sandwich on a Tupperware lid. They swear they have not used any plate but when I enter my kitchen later. A wonky tower of china looms in my sink for me to jingle wash. Ugh. When I was in third grade I didn't do my homework and my parents needed to sign a form acknowledging I didn't. I forged my mom's signature as Mom Jones. I had no clue my mom's name wasn't Mom. I am still not a smart man. My kid is 5. She sneaks food under her blanket, wrapped snacks, for later and is always amazed when I find them. Edit. Thanks for the concern guys. But as it's happened 3 times in a 12 month span I'm certain that she does not have an eating disorder. She is also not overweight. Kids will be kids. The mother of my cousin thinks he smokes weed because one day he came back home with red dyes. He told me it was just pollen because he is allergic ha ha ha. For the record. He is the, the most innocent kid I know. He is 14 and he is very pure. He would probably be scared to see a blunt ha ha. When I was 17-18 and started wearing contacts my eyes were red. My 6 year old got out of bed early on Sunday morning to sneak downstairs and steal Monopoly money from the bank and the unfinished game from the night before which was left out on the table. Semicolon. Edit. When he becomes a teenager and starts acting like his generation invented the internet and everything and that old people are stupid I'll show him this thread. This thread gave me answers to questions of my childhood I shouldn't have had answered. My 4 year son is currently trying to hide that he pees his bed. His dad questioned him the other morning asking if he did and he said no. Even though we were holding his wet pants. When we asked whose pants they were he said mommy's. We asked again if he peed his bed and he said no mommy did it. Little bastard. Edit before I blow my brains out. The reason we asked is because he lies about everything. We are teaching him it is not okay to lie about things and he doesn't need to lie about it. Me and his dad both suffered from excessive bed wetting as a kid so we know it is hard embarrassing not his fault. He's not always peeing in his sleep. A lot of the time he's doing it after he's already been awake. He's a kid. These things happen. Please stop trying to give advice on a fraction of a story of someone's life you know nothing about thanks. Comma this was supposed to be just a fun snippet of a story that we still laugh about. 
especially with our son.